Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Joseph from Dressmaster.com and welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. So in this episode, we're going to be remaking our slider. Now you may be thinking, I've already done a slider video. Why am I doing another one? There are a few reasons why. The first reason is that the previous tutorial, it was a WordPress plugin. And because it's a WordPress plugin and we're creating a WordPress theme, if someone else downloaded our theme and ran it on their site, they would need to also install that plugin. And that's not really a native uh, theme. So we're going to be using a jQuery, oh sorry, JavaScript, I think, a JavaScript plugin that allows us to install it on our site using code. Therefore, when someone runs our, um, installs our theme, it'll be there without any plugins. So that's the re main reason why. And yeah, so let's get into it. So first things first, go in the description box and you wanna download a file that I've supplied you. And when you download it, you should get um, this file it's called retro slider uh, so you open it up okay and you'll get some slide uh, code here and so we have an image folder a JavaScript folder on um, the CSS flex slider which is a slider plugin that we're going to use uh, but it's not a WordPress plugin so we can in implement it into our theme a slider code and a permission file so let's hop straight into our other file, to our local host. Let's find the file. Uh, WordPress themes retro, right, sure. and here is our theme. So there's a few things we need to add in here. Okay. The first thing we need to add is the flex slider. So this is the CSS that um we need to put in here. Let's just add it in. So it's right there. And then we need to drag in both of these, image and JS. Um, let's just control C and we'll paste it in right here. So now we have the one more fi file, it's called slider code. And we're not, we're not gonna drag that in, we're gonna copy out of it. So let's close this up and let's hop, let's open this up here. And we get a a few links right here. I just close this one. So what this is 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 some CSS, uh, HTML, and scripts that we need to add into our into our site manually. Let's start with the HTML. Let's copy everything here. Control C. Let's go into our front page .php. And instead of this short code, we're going to add that that section. Okay. So now let's explain what this, actually we'll explain it at later on. Let's just add the files. So that's that. Let's save it and let's go back into our slider code. And let's and it says, it says here in the head of PHP you need to insert this code link the style sheet. So this code here links to the flex slider.css, the file we added previously. And we'll put that in our header.php right here save it and now let's add the custom CSS control C um, let's go into our slider style CSS and at the very bottom let's make a new section called slider paste that in and there we go control S now let's go back into our website so we've got this old slider. Now before we refresh, we need to create something because at the moment nothing is going to show. Now why is this? Okay, now let's go through the code. If we go into index.php and let's read through here. So not index, front page. We have this query post query post um 
blog loop. And it says your category name featured. However, we don't have that featured category yet. Now, this what this does is because we already have a latest posts grid down here, we don't want latest posts here again. So we're going to have featured posts. So you can specify posts to be in the featured category and it'll display in the slider. So now we understand what this code does and why it isn't displaying. Anyways, uh, there's also one thing that we need to add. And if we go back into our slider code and if we scroll down, we still have one more snippet of code that we need to add into our uh, code. Let's copy that. And it says here, add it in the footer.php. Let's go into our footer.php. And below everything, except for WP footer, we're going to add that code. <clears throat> okay. So we'll save that. And it's still not going to be anything. It's nothing going to be there. Because it's still category name feature. So let's create a cat category right now. Let's go to new uh, it's dashboard. Let's go into posts, all posts. And let's make this post, post 3, a featured post that will appear in the slider. Let's create a new category called featured. And new category. Let's update it. Let's do that for two more posts. Let's go post three. And let's also add, oh wait, that's the one we just did. Let's go post four. And we also add that to featured, updated. And we'll do two for now. Now if we revisit our website, There's our slider, you can see here. So it's got navigation, you can go left, right, like so. We've also got these little buttons here that can navigate, and that's pretty good. Now it's still a bit big, and I'll tell you why. So at the moment, if we hop over to our code, you know, in our front page, um, it says PHP, the post thumbnail slider image. And we don't have this registered at the moment. So what we do, okay, we're going to go into our functions.php. We're going to copy this add image size. And call the slider image. And the dimensions are 1000 by, let's say, around 350. We'll save it. Refresh. And after refreshing, you can see here that the problem is still not fixed. Now, just like our other post thumbnails, we need to re-upload the images from the posts. So let's go into this, let's go read more. And I'm going to edit this page. Edit post. I'm going to re-upload this image. Remove image. And let's go set featured image. So let's put it back in. I'll put it um, pictures, sample pictures, and tulips. Set featured image. Okay, update it. And I'll do the same for the last one. It might be a bit slow on my computer because I'm recording. And I'll do it for this one as well. Edit post. And once again, we'll, we'll remove the image and we'll upload it again. Now feel free, free to delete your previously uploaded files. Um, but I won't do that. I'll do it off camera probably. Let's go back into our website. And now if we take a look, there we go. Our slider is fixed. So I reckon that looks pretty good. And now let's go through the code and see what's going on behind this slider.